All right, Hovind, how's it going? This is Space here. You know what I like doing on a nice Friday or whenever this is posted? I like looking at this, this bad boy right here. This is a Marvel catalog. This is a, uh, a bunch of, like, you know, Marvel comics from May to July. They just give this out for free, which is really cool. Sort of a nice little preview of what's to come. So I figured we could kind of, like, flip through this because why the heck not? I'm out of video ideas, guys. I need something. No, I'm getting but Seriously, though, I thought this would be kind of cool. I like kind of looking at this thing every now and again. Just sort of, I picked it up, like, last week. I was like, this is kind of cool. I haven't actually really looked at the preview for this too much, but they're starting a new X-Men series. X-Men number one by Jed McKay and Ryan Siegman. I I've never I'm not sure if I'm really familiar with Ryan Siegman's work, but Jed McKay though. <laughs> one of my favorite comic writers currently working. He's been doing a lot of stuff. He's been doing well we're gonna see what he's been doing, because there's a lot of stuff in here by him. Anyways, so I figured we'd just sort of flip through and stuff, kinda see what's what. They have this new uh Aliens vs. Avengers thing, which sounds really cool by Jonathan Hickman himself. Like look at that, that's awesome. Very talented writer currently writing Gods and uh, Ultimate Spider-Man, which is perhaps one of the best comics running right now from Marvel, so it's amazing. Gods is really good too, I like Gods quite a bit, but not everybody's cup of tea, but I think it's cool. I've got this kind of interesting, <laughs> like, Avengers um, alternate cover. What if Mickey and friends were part of the new lineup? And this is, I guess, like, a variant cover for that. <laughs> I don't know why this is like the variant cover. This has nothing to do with Spider-Man. There's not even a Spider-Man character on you. Like, who is this supposed to be? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> so that's interesting. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. They have like, I think they have another one of these. No, they don't actually. I thought there was like another preview of something like this, but, um, that's interesting. <laughs> the battle's about to fa face front, Avengers! The battle's about to begin! I can't do Mickey Mouse. That's as close as I can do. Um, yeah, so here's, here's Avengers, or here's X-Men 1. Which is crazy, they got some variant covers here, which that looks pretty cool. If I if I found that, I'd be like, oh, you know, I'd be like, ah, rah, 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 no. <laughs> then they have, like, this one with Beast, which is pretty cool. Pretty basic, but it's, it's pretty cool. Here's the official cover, which is also, uh, you, you may have seen that one before, right? Uh, but there's a, yeah, it's a new ongoing series, which is awesome. They are going to reboot the X-Men. I'm not sure if this is, like, a complete, like, whoosh, whoosh, nothing matters. Or it's like, let's continue from where we left off. Let's let's get all the, the old team back. Because I don't even know what the heck's going, been going on with X-Men for the past, like, uh, basically a decade, honestly, <laughs> but it's been, it's been a lot. It's been big. It's been kind of hard to get into. So this is perfect for any newcomers, I'd imagine. Anybody that's sort of looking to get into X-Men with how popular X-Men is right now. So, including myself. Look at that. You got freaking uh, Juggernaut, the freaking X on his face. What more could you want? It's perfect. You got magic back there. You got, I guess this is Psylocke or something. I have no idea what the heck that is. That must be Mr. Man, Mr. X-Man, you know, that's, that's the X-Man. I don't know if this is meant to be binary. I'm not sure who that is. This guy, don't even ask me who that is. I, don't, I have no idea. Is this, this might be, well, let's look closer. Look, is it Wolverine? I think that's probably Wolverine. Uh, not fully certain, but it could be. And this guy right there, that guy looks like he's about to get like freaking obliterated. I don't know. And they've got like Beast. Look how angry he's like, rah, Beast, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, is this Morph? Who's this? He's got a nose ring. Who's that? I don't know. Uh, look, look at that. That's cool. Anyways. <laughs> Here's a little preview, I'm not sure if I can actually show this, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it anyways. There's not actually any text here, it's just like, um, you gotta look at the art without the colors. This is just the penciling. This is the interior art from X-Men number one, if I had to guess. I'm not fully certain, but it could be right. Look at that! That's awesome. I get the feeling the cover page is probably after this, like the title drop or something. Or it could be like before this, I don't know. I'm not even sure what's happening here. This maybe isn't even like the first page or whatever, but you get this little X-Men logo right there. I saw that, I saw that. Okay. He's like, oh, I, 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 uh, give me Wolverine, go get me some pizza. That's what she's probably saying. Okay. Just a guess at the, uh, the writing. Uh, here we have X-Force, which sounds pretty cool. I wish I had more money. I'd buy all these dang X-Men comics, but I'm only going to buy the main book, X-Men. But X-Force, that's looking pretty, uh, pretty ex 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 big. It didn't work. But anyways, got Deadpool there. Um, I think this is also Deadpool. That's Deadpool. Deadpool, De no, <laughs> I don't know who any of these characters are. Uh, is this, uh, I feel like I know these two, but I don't remember what their names are, but, um, they exist. It probably says on here, doesn't it? Rachel Summers, Betsy Braddock, Sage, Surge, and introducing Tank. Is that, that might be that guy, Tank, I don't know. You got some variant covers here, you got Deadpool, it's like, woo, all colorful and rainbows and stuff. You got a rabbit, Deadpool rabbit, rabbit pool. Uh, that's a pretty cool cover, look at that, sick. Uh, you got these two. And, uh, is that, is this Forge? I guess that is Forge, actually. Yeah, there's Forge right there. Um, I think this is Betsy Braddock. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Um, 
Or that could be Rachel Summers. I don't know. There's there's people on here that do things, I imagine. And Deadpool. He's there, too. <laughs> it's written by Joffrey Forn. Never heard of that person. And art by Marcus Toe. That's cool. Two? Toe? I don't know. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, here's NYX. Uh, New York x men -er. I'm not sure what this actually stands for, but... Um, I don't think it's meant to be Nyx, but I think it's NYX. I'm not sure. Uh, but this looks cool. I'd, uh, like, if I had to like choose between what ones I'd want to get, I'd want to get them all. <laughs> but I'd probably get this one too, but I, I, I'm i just going to go with the, the standard X-Men. But maybe I'll read these one day. So this is like the New York X-Men, I believe. Um, sort of continuation of Miss Marvel as a, uh, as a mutant. It's kind of cool. You've got um, X-23 there, which is cool. Um, that person. Um, and... <laughs> these people. As you can see, I'm very well versed with who these characters are, of course, obviously. Uh, this, of course, obviously, like, I was guessing this would probably take place on the, in the Lower East Side, I think. I'm just, just guessing. Uh, I've got this cool cover with X-23, and then, look cool how ripped she is, man. Dang. And then you got another cool cover of X-23 and stuff, because she's, like, the coolest character. Except for Kamala Khan, she's even cooler. Get out of here, war! Anyways, uh, we've got Phoenix as well. I guess this is, this doesn't actually say it's, like, an ongoing series, but it doesn't also say that it's, like, oh, only one of three or something. So I would assume this is an ongoing series. This looks cool too, of course. You know, Jean Grey as, as Phoenix. Uh, pretty awesome. Cool variant cover there, and this is the official cover. Which looks freaking awesome, right? So cool. The only thing I wish about this is I wish they had, like, the actual dates when these come out, because they don't actually say when they're coming out, but you can look it up online, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I should also know this is not in chronological order. All the X-Men stuff actually comes out in June, I believe, but there's stuff that comes out before this. I wish they told us when this would come out, because I, I think I could... They have like this, if you look up like Marvel or release calendar comics or whatever, you can like look through and stuff like that and you'll see when all this stuff comes out. But uh, this looks pretty cool. I might get it. They also have the, they do have the prices on there, which is very helpful. So I know how much money you're going to spend. Uh, but um, yeah, this looks pretty cool. I might just wait until it comes out into like a, an actual collected volume or like a trade as it's called. But this looks pretty cool. Like Avengers vs. Aliens and stuff. That sounds awesome. Uh, they're doing like, this new like weapon extraction thing. I don't really know what this is, but um, yeah, I don't actually know what any of this is. I I think it's like additional comics. I don't think the story is actually connected. I don't actually know what's happening. I'm not sure because it's it's of course like obviously for uh, Deadpool and Wolverine, but um, <laughs> they're going harder for Deadpool and Wolverine stuff. You'll see in just a second what do I mean. Um, but that's pretty cool. I'm basically gonna have to. F <laughs> I don't think this is actually like. I don't think these are actually like connected or anything. I think it's just like the story is like. Here's a bonus story at the end. I'm not fully certain. I could be wrong. Um, yeah. With no increase, backup stories be given. So yeah, basically like you get the comic and it doesn't actually increase the price. There's extra pages there that have these stories. Now, I'm basically going to be reading most of this, because I read a lot of this stuff. I read I read Hulk, I read Captain America, uh, I read Avengers and Spectacular Spider-Man. So maybe I'll just, like, get the rest of these so I can read the full story, even though I haven't, I'm not caught up on this. I'd love to read this one day. Uh, I don't know. I like Spider-Gwen a lot, but I'm not sure how I feel about her being in the main continuity. That's kind of weird. Fantastic Four, I'd love to read this too. Um pretty cool. I think the person, yeah, the person that actually writes Fantastic Four, Ryan North, is actually the one that's doing this. So that's kind of cool. Um, I, of course, I, 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 say I, <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm probably not going to read uh, X-Force. Maybe I'll just like find the rest of these online or something and like read the ones that I have. I don't know. I'll think about it. It's not that important to me. We have, uh, yeah, Wolverine and Deadpool. This is like a little mini series. Uh, World War Free. Uh, Joe Kelly is a pretty big name in Deadpool. He did some pretty big stuff with him back in the day. So it's cool that he's back. Um, it's just a mini series, just free issues. Oh, I, I'm considering it. I'll probably, probably buy it. I think. I'm not sure. Looks cool. I've gotta, gotta be careful with my my De Niro. Uh, is he fighting Deadpool in this? By the way, you see, there's Deadpool, and then there's what looks like Deadpool. I don't. Know. I have no. I, I don't know anything about this. Uh, speaking of Deadpool, Deadpool is pretty big right now for obvious reasons. Uh, Cody Ziegler is uh, the writer for uh, Deadpool currently, and he's writing also. Uh, the Miles Morales main stuff, which is cool. So he seems like a pretty talented guy. I've heard some good stuff about the first issue of Deadpool. Haven't read it. Probably read it one day, but I like the cover. That's pretty nice. Pretty cool stuff. Got this alternate cover there. He's, uh, he's cooking. He's a chef. Uh, here's some, like, re-releases. They're called facsimiles. They're sort of like, uh, they reprint the old comics and stuff, and it's pretty cool. There's, like, this Wolverine one, and there's a Deadpool one. 
Uh, this is a Joe Kelly. I think this is the first Joe Kelly comic. Uh, I don't know when this is from. I think it's like... It's either the early thousands or the 90s, not fully certain. I never, I've never really read any of the Joe Kelly stuff, but... Very cool. Uh, a legend. In the comic industry, yes. Uh, there's a new Wolverine series, Deep Cut, uh, by Chris Claremont, which is really cool. A very... If you haven't heard that name before, and if you're not from, super familiar with comics, he's like one of the biggest X-Men writers who wrote Days of Future Past, the Phoenix Saga stuff, uh, God Loves, Man Kills, uh, probably so many more. He wrote he wrote it for for quite a while, so um, I forgot how long his run was, but it's great stuff. I've read some of his stuff. It's really amazing. He's probably my favorite X-Men writer that I've read so far, so he's awesome. Even though I haven't read too much. I haven't read Grant Morrison or... Uh, Josh Whedon. Yes, Josh Whedon. Yes, I've heard it's good. It's Astonishing X-Men. I've heard it's good. Um, I know, right? <laughs> but, um, yeah, this is also cool. There's like a, it's like a variant cover by, uh, C.F. Villa, who I'm, uh, I'm actually reading, um, Black Cat right now by Jed McKay, and he did the art. I think, okay, I don't actually know who, if it's a man or a woman or whoever, but, um, that person, I should say, did, did some good stuff. So, pretty cool. I'm not going to read this, one, but it's cool. Uh, so I, I, uh, I would read everything if I could, but I can't, so I won't. But pretty cool Wolverine cover. Um, look at that. That's awesome. I don't know if this is like a variant cover. I'm not sure what this is actually, but it's cool. It doesn't actually say for some reason. Who is that person? I can't even read that, but of course. Phil... Uh, doesn't. Oh, this is probably the variant cover by this person. Phil Jimenez. Okay. That's cool. Whoops. Oh, there's the other one. I thought there was another one. Yeah, there's like this like... <laughs> that um there's like this like disney and marvel what if pretty cool pretty fun cute uh life of wolverine i guess this is like a new wolverine comic not really super familiar with this it's pretty cool i've got a lot of characters here you got uh gene gray as marvel girl or i guess that that might be your phoenix outfit i don't know no, i guess that is your phoenix outfit never mind uh you've got x23 you've got um <laughs> weapon x wolverine you've got early wolverine before he gets to the animantium clubs i guess like young wolverine uh Here's some different X-type Wolverines. You got Jubilee there, which is interesting, too. Um, what is that guy's name? Omega Red. Um, Sabretooth. That guy, of course, obviously. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, I've never heard of Jim Zub before, but good job, Jim. Fantastic work. Logan's Life Story in chronological order from the first time. Sounds pretty cool. Sounds like a big, like, recap on Wolverine's life, I guess. Oh, did I say Mr. Sinister? Yeah, Mr. Sinister did too. Um, here's the stuff that's coming up soon. Blood Hunt starts, like, it actually started already this week. <laughs> uh, this is also Jed McKay. Uh, I'm looking forward to this because Jed McKay is finally getting his own, um, series. This is, a, there's a lot of Blood Hunt stuff here, so, so bear, bear with me. God, I wish I could read all this stuff too. If I would, if I could, I would 100% read all of Blood Hunt. But I'm just gonna follow the main book and the books that I'm already following. Look at this variant cover too. I don't know what Doctor Doom has to do with this, but something cool as well. They have like a red band edition. I kind of hope to get that one. That'd be pretty cool. Is that actually more? It is a little more. So <laughs> goodbye wallets. But <laughs> I'll think about it. I'll consider it. Maybe I'll just get the normal one to save some money. But you know, it's just kind of, it's kind of cool. It's got the explicit content one. I think it's just like blood and gore and stuff. So if you like that sort of thing, then there you go. I think it has additional pages and stuff. Yeah, it does actually. It has eight extra pages of blood and gore. I guess that's awesome. Okay, so there's like this Dracula blood hunt. Most of these are mini series. They're not gonna actually last very long. So Dracula blood hunt, pretty cool. Uh, Danny War, uh, Midnight Suns blood hunt, very cool. Brian Hill. I, know, I, I think I've heard of Brian Hill before. Uh, this is the main book by Jed McKay and uh, Pepe Juarez. Uh, blood hunters, which this one looks pretty cool. This one actually has Hawkeye and. Um, I'm not sure if that's Elena. Who is that? Uh, it does not... Or is that Dagger? Is that Dagger? It says ongoing series Dagger and Elsa Bloodstone. Huh. And also a cow. <laughs> I think... I remember seeing, like, Hawkeye in, like, one of these. So I don't know if this is, like, a Hawkeye series, too, or not. But if it is, then I'm pretty tempted. Because I like Hawkeye a lot. Oh, Erica Schultz. Very nice. Uh, also, Sean McKeever and Josh Treho. Treho. Uh, that, that guy. Yeah, 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 of course. Um, wait, oh, this is just, yeah, more Blood Hunters. It also has Hollow's Eve, which is awesome. Hollow's Eve is a great new character. Um, Janine Godby, uh, Ben Riley, or, uh, Scarlet Spider's girlfriend. And now I'm gonna be reading this. I read, I keep up with Avengers, so of course I'm gonna read this. Also by Jed McKay, Avengers. Uh, I don't know what this is, but that's, that's great. And this is really cool, too. We get an alternate Avengers team. The, the current Avengers team is, uh, Captain Marvel, Iron Man, uh, Captain America, Sam Wilson, Captain America, 
uh, Vision, Wanda, uh, Black Panther, and I think that's it. Oh, Thor, sorry. Thor. <laughs> now, this team looks like it's Captain America, possibly Quicksilver, maybe? Um, Kate Bishop, uh, Hercules. Uh, there's like an... I don't think the other one is in here, but there's like the first... The first issue of this Blood Hunt stuff is... Has like the team on there. I don't remember who all is on there, but I know this whole Stormbreaker thing is. But there's they're, they're going hard with it, I guess. Um, that's cool. So excited for that. Uh, I don't read Doctor Strange. That's also Jed McKay too, of course. Like obviously he's doing Blood Hunt in there. That's a cool cover. Um, yeah, that's where the money is right there. Vengeance of Moon Knight, fantastic. My oh my camera is also running out of battery, which is also fantastic. Um, looking forward to that Blood Hunt tie-in, of course. Uh, Werewolf by Night, very cool. I think it's just a one shot. Very cool one shots i definitely want to get this the hulk one shot uh written by philip kennedy johnson who's currently writing the most recent hulk run which is pretty great love it quite a bit union jack i wish i could get this because we don't have we hardly get any union jack comics so it's cool that we have one even though it's not like a main book it's like it's own little like connected to blood hunt but it's pretty cool uh black panther blood hunt's pretty awesome too i'm doing this with a low camera battery so i'm trying to milk this as much as i can and try to get through all of this as, as fast as i can uh, Spe Amazing Spider-Man, Blood Hunt's kind of interesting, not written by, uh, <laughs> that one person. It was actually written by Justina Ireland. Uh, interesting. Kind of interested, mildly. It sounds interesting. Um, I think it's like, yeah, Morbius and stuff, that's cool. Uh, Strange Academy is coming back, but just for free issues, but that's cool. Um, Spider-Man, you know, Miles Morales, of course, Cody Ziegler. Uh, there's a Wolverine Blood Hunt as well, sounds pretty cool. Um, there's four of those, I guess. Uh, even Fantastic Four is getting some Blood Hunt treatment as well. Pretty cool. Um, I think this is also a, a one-shot too. There's Psylocke, uh, and there's also, uh, Laura or X-23. So that's cool. Or I guess she's like Wolverine as well, so you can call her that too. Um, I don't... I think this is just a new series. Uh, currently Black Widow has a symbiote, so... Black Widow Venomous. Sounds cool. Uh, by Erica Schultz. Pretty awesome. And, uh... Jason Aaron is coming back. He's a pretty popular and famous uh, Marvel writer and, you know, other writers. He writes other stuff too besides Marvel, but he did Punisher. He did um, Thor, the God Butcher, which is where gore comes from. So he's he's pretty great. I like him. I think he did a, uh, a Darth Vader run as well, which is cool. And he's got this new Namor series, uh, Eight Issues. Sounds pretty awesome. The West, King of Atlantis. So looks pretty cool. I, I might check it out one day. I'll have to see how it goes, but it sounds pretty cool. But Jason Aaron re-envisions the world's first Marvel or the world of Marvel's first mutant, Namor. Very cool. Daredevil, some more Daredevil stuff. Uh, Woman Without Fear, it sounds pretty cool. It's like a little miniseries, also by Erica Schultz. She's really killing it, I guess. Uh, Saladin Ahmed's uh, Daredevil. Eh, I gotta be honest, I actually dropped it. I'm not super interested in it anymore, which is very weird to say because I really love Daredevil, but I just wasn't feeling this run. I liked it, I liked it, but... I didn't like it enough to continue it, to be honest. Uh, the fifth issue of She-Hulk, I thought that was my favorite. That was really good. But the rest is fine. The Doctor Strange one was okay. Um, the first few issues were pretty good. I liked the first issue, and the second issue was pretty good. But, I don't know, it just didn't quite click with me. I thought it was okay. Uh, I've got crossbones there. Very cool. I like, um, I like, uh, Electra, uh, Daredevil. I think she's pretty cool. I'd like to read more of her. Uh, Ultimate Black Panther, I haven't been keeping up with this. I've heard it's, I've heard it's okay. I've heard mixed things about it, but it's pretty cool. Um, and this, Ultimates. Uh, new Ultimates coming out, I think, in June. So I'm looking forward to that. Of course, like, it sort of, like, feels like we've all been voting. We know, we knew it was coming. We knew that Ultimates was coming up eventually. So there we go. That's our confirmation. Uh, here's, I guess, the Ultimate section. I've not read this either, but I'm really looking forward to reading this one day. Ultimate, um, X-Men, uh, by Peach Momoko. Um, who also does the artist, who is the artist and the writer, which is really cool. So just sort of very auteur book. Um, of course, the GOAT, Ultimate Spider-Man. Fantastic, fantastic, really excited for more of this. This is uh, issue number seven. Uh, Mark Cicchetto actually like left for, took a break for uh, four and five. I think he's coming back for six. The new, the, the, the temp uh, artist, um, what was his name? David Messina, Messina? Uh, Messina, yeah. <laughs> I think it's David. I think that's his first name. But, uh, it's pretty good. Definitely emu emu emulates, uh, Chichetto's art pretty well, but not as strong, so I'm looking forward to Chichetto coming back. Fantastic artist. Uh, I've never really read Spider-Man Reign, but I guess they're doing another one. It's like a five-part series. Um, 
So that's pretty cool. Also, the person that's doing the uh, the writing, Andrews, is also doing the artwork too, which is cool. So also doing the variant covers as well. Fantastic, a very busy person, huh? Um, so that's pretty cool. I don't know really what this is all about, but um, got Miles in there, which is cool. So <laughs> awesome. Uh, yep. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Uh, I guess this is the Spider-Man section or Spider People section. We've got uh, Ghost Spider. This is uh, Gwen in the uh, new uni or in the main one universe, written by Stephanie Phillips. Um, kind of wish Melissa Flores would continue because I really liked Melissa Flores' last stuff. She like sort of sent um, Gwen off uh, into the main universe, so we get to see some more of her universe stuff before that with Spider Gwen Smash, which I liked. I thought it was pretty fun. Um, Spectacular Spider-Man, written by Greg Wiseman, the writer and creator of um, Spectacular Spider-Man, the animated series. This has been pretty fun. Uh, art by Umberto Ramos. Fantastic artist. Love this. Very cartoony, but really fun and uh, nice and detailed. More stuff. We're very much looking forward to that. It's an ongoing series. Glad that it's continuing. Looks like some drama is happening. So, um, got a lot of Venom stuff coming up. Uh, Spider-Woman. I read the first, I think, four issues of this. It's pretty good, but I, I couldn't afford to keep up with it, so I wish I could, but Steve Fox seems pretty, Steve Fox seems pretty cool. Um, Peter David, the creator of, uh, Spider-Man 2099, one of the creators, is back with this, like, cool, like, symbiote thing. I've heard this is really cool, too. I haven't read it, but looks awesome. Uh, Venom Stuff by Al Ewing. Pretty cool. Uh, I think he's been writing this for a while, so that's awesome. Pretty great writer. I enjoy his stuff. All right, so my camera died, but uh, yeah, so now we're back. I guess Venom killed my camera. Anyway, so I've heard this is kind of like a, somewhat of like an 80s feeling like uh, Venom comic or something like that. I don't know if it actually says that. I don't think it says it in here, but I thought I like said it somewhere else. The stronger the purple man grows. It's kind of cool. We haven't seen the purple man in a uh, second, I guess. So that's cool. Um, oh, this is really good. Spider-Man, Shadow of the Green Goblin, amazing. J.M. DeMatteis, uh, of course, was the writer of Craven's Last Hunt, among other stuff, too. I think he also <laughs> wrote the Quillen song, I don't hold that against him. But, uh, anyways, um, yeah, this has been amazing so far, really enjoyed it. Only the first issue is out, it's only four issues, sadly, but a uh, nice mini-series so far. Really looking forward to seeing where this goes. Excited for this, uh, final installment. I love the, uh, Marvel Retro pick, because, you know, of course, a classic Marvel uh, or classic Spider-Man writer and also they have like some uh, cool like classic covers these are the covers that I like getting at the first issue I got was like this sort of recreation of a classic cover so that was cool um, <laughs> got the Venom verse I don't really pay attention to the Venom stuff honestly I think Venom is cool but I'm not really like a, a huge like I gotta read everything Venom and everything it's cool that Philip Kennedy Johnson is, is involved in this um, Al Ewing before we talked about him a little bit ago um, but yeah, a lot of different <laughs> stuff. So it used to just be Spider-Man that got these, uh, Spider-Verse comics, but now Venom does, which is cool. So if you haven't read a Spider-Verse comic, there's the Edge of Spider-Verse stuff, which is just a collection of stories that take place in different universes. Some of them get expanded upon later, like Spider-Man India was introduced that way. And I'm sure Spider-Punk was possibly introduced like that too, to be expanded upon later. But, um, yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> Spider-Boy. Um, I've read this is fine. The cover, I like this cover a well, lot. You got the Japanese Spider-Man and stuff. You got some just some different cool Spider-Man stuff like that. I guess this is probably like some sort of like multiverse thing or web web of life, whatever that means. Uh, web of life and destiny, of course. Uh, <laughs> Dan Swat. Who doesn't who doesn't love who doesn't love Dan Swat? Favorite person. Um, Scarlet Witch. I've read some Scarlet Witch stuff. I haven't read the more recent stuff, but it looks really cool. I'd love to read it one day, but um, I don't know if it's Steve or Wendell that does the new stuff. I think it might be. I'm not sure if this is like a continuation of like a run that this person did or if this is like a new thing. I'm not really sure actually, but uh, it looks pretty cool. You got uh, got some cool stuff there. Wot Wot Kill. I don't know what that means, but uh, I got Quicks over there, which is cool. We got this guy, Squidman. Of course, classic villain. Love Squidman. That's pretty cool. I like the cover. Uh, I've got some facsimiles, which is sort of recreations of classic comics. This is, um, I guess, when Peter gets rid of the black suit, I would imagine. And then this is uh, Secret Wars. They've been redoing that, which is awesome. Uh, Tom DeFalco. Yeah, that's a pretty, pretty big name in Spider-Man. 
Uh, I sound probably tired right now because it's, it's much later than what it was. For a second, I thought it said Bob Dylan. Like, what Bob Dylan of the year are we talking about? No. <laughs> uh, Secret Wars is classic. This is not the new one with the multiverse stuff. This is the original Secret Wars uh, from 1984. So this is the first time that Spider-Man gets the black suit, by the way, in this comic. Not in this comic, but in this run. Uh, in this, yeah. Uh, I have it and I've read it before, but it's been a long time. I'd love to read it again, but very cool. Giant Size Quicksilver. It's like an anniversary of the Gi 50th anniversary of Giant Size Comics, which is cool. Uh, they started in what the 70s, I think, 74. So, um, yeah, Quicksilver or <laughs> Silver Surfer. Did I say Quicksilver the first time? Um, yeah, pretty cool. So, yeah, there it is. Um, I only I have two of these Giant Size comics. There's a Giant Size Gwen one because it continues the story of uh, Spider Gwen Smash. And also, uh, yeah, Giant Size Hulk, which is pretty cool. I haven't read that yet, but uh, continues the story of Hulk. So, pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if this is X-Men Era of Apocalypse. I have not really seen this. I even, like, I looked at this whole thing, but I don't remember seeing that. <laughs> but it's there. They got four and three and four coming up, so get ready. Uh, more Apocalypse, I guess, by Steve Fox as well. He's been, uh, he's been cooking in, in the X-Men stuff. He's doing the X-Men 97 tie-in comic, which is like a prequel to the series. It's in between the original series and the new series. I've not read it, but it looks pretty cool. I think it's only like four or five issues, so I don't know. Pretty cool. Um, they're doing a new Annihilation. If you're not familiar with Annihilation, it was by... Um, Oh, what is his name? He's a pretty big name, but um, I'm sure you probably know who he is if you uh, if you're into comics. Um, was it Kieran Gillen or something? I think I forgot what his, his first name is, but I think his last name is Gillen. I think it's Kieran Kieran Gillen. Yeah, that sounds right. Um, there's Annihilation, and then there's um, what's the other one called? There's the one after it. It's not. I don't know, but anyways, yes, they're doing a new Annihilation thing. I don't really know what it's about. Uh, I kind of tempted to read it but um I, <laughs> there's always so much money that i have right so i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to think about it but it'd be cool this is only like five five issues long you've got this cool like the last nova or whatever pretty cool sounds awesome um of course this is 2099 so that's interesting first time i've ever seen this happen in 2099 so it's cool seeing more 2099 stuff you've got number two number three number four some sort of like is this quick silver or something? I'm not sure who that is. All right. Oh my God. Silver silver. <laughs> and then part five um, with Dracula, I guess. That's pretty cool. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Anyways. So that's interesting. Uh, Helverine. This looks pretty cool as well. I'm not sure what the story is of this. If like, I think Wolverine becomes like the writer of vengeance or something. That's pretty cool, right? I'm not sure if that has happened before. Uh, Garth Ennis, uh, pretty famous for among other stuff the uh, Punisher Max series. The first Punisher Max series. The second one, I believe, was uh, Jason Aaron. So he followed that up and people were mixed on it. People, Some people liked it, other people were like, this isn't as good as Garth Ennis. Uh, Garth Ennis is also the person <laughs> that created, uh, I think, Preacher, I believe, and The Boys. So pretty edgy guy, you know? But um, he's coming back and he's writing some more uh, Punisher stuff. It sounds really cool. This is the sixth place in the 60s or the 70s, possibly. Uh, and it's Punisher going after uh, Nick Fury has been kidnapped by the Viet Cong in uh, the Korean War. So Punisher's after him and to save him. This is pretty cool. I will read this one day. I think I might just wait until the trade is out instead of getting, by getting <laughs> buying the single issues. It seems it looks pretty cool. I'll have to see how the reviews are, but I wouldn't mind reading this. It looks really cool. Cool premise. Uh, Invincible Iron Man. I haven't been keeping this, keeping up this uh, Gary Guggen. Duggan, Duggan. <laughs> I'm tired, all right. Gary Duggan. Uh, that's Emma Frost's hand, so there's some stuff going on with Emma Frost. Uh, Iron Man right now is actually a lot more closer to the X-Men right now, really. He's, of course, in other stuff, too, like he's in the Avengers and whatnot, but um, this book has been following closer to the X-Men. It's interesting. Haven't read it. I think I may have read, like, the first few issues or something. I thought it was cool, but, eh, it's cool. I'm not really keeping up with X-Men, so I, I don't probably wouldn't know what was going on anyways. Uh, Spider-Man Annual, uh, they're doing this, like, Infinity Watch thing, I don't really know what this is about, honestly. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's interesting, it's fine, but, yeah, I, I don't really care, to be honest. It's cool, though, but, um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's cool. You've got, uh, you've got Immortal 4, you've got Miss Marvel. Um, I think there's, like, I think there's some other stuff. Part 4, this is part 2, what's part 1? 
Okay. Who knows what part one could be? I don't know. Uh, it's like a three part or four part series that's like sort of one shots or something. I don't know. That's cool. I'm fine. Uh, I don't know what this is. Marvel Zero. What is this? Uh, this looks like some sort of like collection or something. Uh, Jed McKay, Gail Simone. Pretty amazing. Uh, is a. <laughs> <clears throat> and uh yeah all right um with a lot of right artists yeah let's see direct lead into the new ultimate series showcasing the next evolutionary step in the ultimate universe with first appearance of a powerful new superhero uh oh this is like yeah this is just like a collection of things i guess dance of death begins uh summer event this is a preview to blood hunt i guess uh something about jubilee uh spider-man must deal with the return of green goblin that's uh, wells for you uh, I think this Jubilee thing is probably Gale, I'd imagine. Uh, I'm not sure what this Denez camp person does, but that could be the ultimate stuff, I'm not sure. Um, collecting Free Comic Book Day, uh, Blood Hunt X-Men, Ultimate Universe, Spider-Man. So yeah, this is just like a collection. That's kind of cool. Um, it's a collection of free comics, but it's not free. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> it's cool to have them all in one place, I guess. That's cool. Um, more Incredible Hulk stuff. Fantastic. Really love this so far. The artwork is inconsistent. It doesn't bother me as much, but I think it does kind of hold it back a little bit, but that's okay. It's been cool. It's kind of sort of like a, a swampy horror type story. This is definitely leaning more into the supernatural stuff with Hulk, which I think is awesome because we don't get to see that as often. So that's cool. Um, Immortal 4. I have not read this, but it looks amazing. You've got some really cool covers by Alex Ross, of course. Iconic artists if you're not even familiar with comics that much you recognize him for the spider-man 2 opening credits amazing artists like look at that look at this comic like who wouldn't want to buy that like come on now i wouldn't because i'm waiting for the trade paper but i will read it one day i just want to i i decided early on like i'll read this but i'll read it when it's in the trade paper i'm really excited um super 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 exciting uh but uh yes 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 um so We'll have to read this one day, but for now, I'm just going to, like, pretend that I'm reading it right now, and I'll be like, yeah, of course I know what's going on. Like, look at this. You see, you see this guy? That guy is uh, is Tim the Tool Man Taylor from Home Improvement. This right here, Bon Jovi. They're arm wrestling. That's the story. Uh, Captain America by J. Michael Straczynski, a very talented writer. Of course, the creator of Babylon 5 and the writer of Thor uh, from 2004, I think, which is the inspiration for the Thor movie, the first one. And, of course, Spider-Man, very, very notable for his Spider-Man run. I'm doing Captain America, and it's been pretty great so far. I like it, I like it quite a bit. It has its ups and downs, I think, but I think for the most part, it's pretty great. There hasn't been an issue, I was like, eh. But uh, there's been some issues, I've been like, this was, this was good. The, the most recent issue that I read was, um, uh, I don't remember what number it is. I think it's the eight or something. Uh, I haven't read the most recent issue, which is number... <laughs> I don't know, but it's one of the issues. It was pretty good, I liked it, but it wasn't as, as good as some of the other issues for me, but it's still good, so. But I think this is cool. I like this, I like this series so far. I'm not sure how long it'll last, but I hope it lasts a good bit. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Captain Marvel by Alyssa Wong. I've not read this series yet. Uh, I don't know if it's actually any good. I haven't heard really much about it, but it seems pretty cool. So, awesome. Uh, I've heard this is really good. Sensational she I'd love to read this someday, too. Um... By Rainbow Ra Raul, Rawell, Rawell, um, pretty awesome. Heard it's, it's heard it's a lot of fun, a good time, classic. That's cool. Uh, there's some new Ghost Rider stuff. Ghost Rider Final Vengeance. So, pretty cool. Don't know much about that honestly. Uh, they've been doing some Aliens What If stuff, which is pretty interesting. Uh, to see sort of an alternate version of Aliens and stuff. I'm not sure what this one is. What if Carter Burke had lived? That's awesome. Uh, I think this was actually one of the ones was actually written by the person that played a character in the character in Aliens. So that's pretty cool. Um, Inquisitors, Star Wars stuff, pretty cool. Don't really read Star Wars stuff that much to be honest. I like Star Wars, of course, obviously, but uh, I don't know. I just I used to read the Star Wars comics a lot, but I haven't really read them in quite a while. One day though, I would I would love that. Um, Inquisitor, yeah, there you go. There's the Inquisitor stuff, pretty cool. Um, this is just like sort of the artwork and stuff on the inside. Uh, it's pretty good, pretty cool. They're doing, they always do these like adaptations of either movies or uh, TV shows. They did them for The Mandalorian, they did them for Obi-Wan, or yeah, Obi-Wan Kenobi recently, now they're doing it for Ahsoka. Pretty cool. Actually, I have some of the, uh, the Mandalorian stuff, but eh. 
it's it's a cool idea, but it doesn't really appeal to me. Like you're just sort of reading the series or movie or whatever, but it's it's different artwork and stuff like that, and maybe some things are slightly different or whatever as far as the writing. But eh, it's it's cool, but eh, I'm fine. <laughs> it's cool though. Uh, more High Republic stuff. I have like the first High Republic stuff, but I haven't actually read it, so I don't know what's going on there. Uh, Darth Maul, always a classic, red, white, and black, or yeah, black, white, and red. Um, I've read, I, I, I think this, this is like a, another issue, I think there's, oh, there's four actually, yeah, okay, yes, there is an issue, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Star Wars The Mainline series, don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I read the first, the first, uh, 50 mainline comics, which are cool, it takes place in between episode four and five, and then this one, I believe, takes place between five and, s does it actually? I think it, let's see. I'm not actually sure. I feel like this might be the four. The, it used to be. When it started, it was between five and six, and I read the first three with that. I think this is still the same series. I think it still might be between five and six. Don't quote me on that. It could take place after, but I don't think it does. I'm not sure. Um, that looks really cool, by the way. The Star Fader cover? I mean, come on. That's awesome. Greg Pack is also writing uh, this as well. So cool. That looks awesome. I've read some Darth Vader stuff in my day. It's a great, I think out of all the Star Wars stuff, Darth Vader is definitely the one to go with if you're looking for something. Um, here's the Stormbreaker stuff. I don't, I don't know what this is, <laughs> but that's awesome. Uh, you've got that guy from the Infinity Watch stuff. You got the Green Lantern, apparently. That's, that's good to see. Always love Green Lantern. Marvel's Green Lantern. Um, <laughs> here, this is just, I'm sitting in a breeze by some of the stuff. This is just the, uh, the collected stuff, uh, the stuff that's coming up. Uh, you've got Hulk by Johnny Cates and uh, De Ryan Otwee. Ryan Otwee is this person that does the Invincible art, and uh, Mr. Donny Cates is the uh, is a pretty big name in the comic industry. I haven't really read a lot of uh, Hulk stuff. This looks pretty cool. Death of Wolverine. I'm not really sure what this is. Just a, got a cool cover, though, by Alex Ross. That's awesome. Um, I think this is... Ah, Quesada. Interesting. Wow. Fantastic Four, The Reckoning by Dan Swat. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, Captain America, this thing, this omnibus thing. Got some classic Fantastic Four. That's cool. Uh, X-Men, the road to Onslaught, omnibus. Yep, right, right, of course. Uh, this, X-Men Decimation, that's a cool title. As you can see, I don't know too much about any of this stuff, honestly. Got some what-if stuff here with Wolverine. That's kind of cool. Uh, look at that cover right there. Pretty interesting. As it's very glary. Uh, High Republic Phase 2, of course. Classic. Uh, oh, some classic Werewolf by Night. I, I, these covers have kind of grown on me. They're not my favorite. I kind of prefer it when it like <laughs> takes up the whole thing instead of like the border and stuff. But it's, it's pretty cool. I like that there's like this wolf thing, this slip cover or something that sort of makes it look like a picture. That's pretty cool. Um, you've got uh, Enter the Phoenix, the Chris Claremont stuff, and John... No, it isn't John Byrne, actually, is it? Um, no, alright. Um, yeah, you know, classic story right there. This is also a pretty iconic cover. Maybe you've seen it before. Uh, here's just an advertisement for, uh, Jonathan Hickman and, uh, Mark Chichetto's, or Marco, Ch Mark Chichetto, yes. Marco Chichetto, I think this is the first six issues, I believe, does it say? It, it does, yeah, first six issues, which is a, this is a steal right here. If you want to read these, this could be the way to do it, just getting this one. It's $20. You can get it on Amazon for, like, I think $18. I was considering it, but I was like, ah, well, I, I have the single issues. I was like, I could have it all just like in one book too, and because I love this series. I'll consider it, but I, I'll probably just stick with the single issues, but I could have it twice, which sounds kind of silly, but it'd be nice to have it just like in one one thing that I, I could just pull it out and read it whenever I want. Uh, here's some other Jonathan Hickman stuff. Uh, Secret Wars, classic. Um, House of X, Powers of X, I've heard this is pretty good too. Uh, I've not read Ultimate Invasion, but I would like to read this one day, so I'd love to do that. Uh, also, I like the sort of theming of the covers, too. They have the same, like, scheme and everything. It's cool. Uh, for all the Ultimate comics. Very cool. <coughs> Anyways, uh, uh, that's all I need to say, right? Uh, Cody Ziegler stuff. Cool. Uh, this is the Gang War Milo stuff. Uh, didn't read it. I read the I read the Spider-Woman Gang War stuff. It was, it was fine. Um... This is also Gang War, Sidley Hands of Kung Fu, with uh, Shang-Chi, written by Greg Pak as well, of uh, Darth Vader and uh, Darth Maul fame, apparently. Um, pretty cool. I like the I like the covers and so I've heard this was, this was fine. 
I wanted to read this, but I didn't actually. This is uh, Christopher Cantwell's uh, Thanos, and it looks pretty cool. I haven't heard anything about this, honestly. I almost picked it up, but I did not, so who knows? Could be cool. Christopher Cantwell, it's pretty good. I heard his Doom run was, was fine, but it didn't end very well, sadly. I read the first few issues, and I liked it. Uh, his, Hulk had a, his Hulk had run was like, I think it's like four or five issues from last year. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. It wasn't my favorite, but I liked it. I thought it was good. Uh, Daredevil by Saladin Ahmed. This is volume two. This has, what does this have in it? Six for ten. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I liked I liked it, but I didn't love it. So, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll have to see how it goes. If it gets better, maybe I'll read it, but... I don't know, I've read issue 6, I haven't read issue 7, I don't think I've read issue 7, I think issue 6 is where I stopped, it's like, nah, I think I'm done, so. Now this, I've read the first two issues only because my comic store did not have issue 3 and 4 and 5 until recently, so I was like, well, I may as well just wait for the trade, because I'm not sure if they'll have 6 and everything, and it would be probably more expensive just to buy all of them instead of waiting for the trade, so I sort of like, <sighs> I sort of like, I'm at a point where I, I, I sort of like, just automatically just lose money but that's okay this was worth it this is really good if you've not read any of this you've not heard any of this about any of this this is this is probably out of all this stuff this is probably my number one recommendation right here i don't know i wouldn't say it's necessarily better than this but i'd say it's if it's not then it's pretty darn close it's pretty darn close to that uh written by chip Zdarsky, pretty famous um Writer who did a Daredevil run that's that's pretty well received. He's done Batman and stuff. Uh, Daniel Acuna, very talented as well. This has some magnificent artwork in it. Fantastic. Daniel Acuna, star. Alex Ross covers, really cool. Uh, this is the other stuff. Chip Zdarsky is done. If you ever heard of Spider-Man: Life Story, pretty solid. Uh, this is a Daredevil run I was talking about. Fantastic. The rest of it is good, but this volume right here. If you only read one volume of Daredevil out of this run. Well, of course you want to start at the beginning, right? But this is really good. I've never read this before, but that's cool. Howard the Duck, he's got, he's got, uh, he's got range. Um, Spider Boy. I, I've heard it, I've heard it's pretty good. I've heard it's pretty good. Seems like it's, I've heard people say this is, this could be an annoying character, but he's not. So, that's impressive. <laughs> Dan Swad did something recently that's, uh, yeah. A cover by Umberto Ramos as well. That's cool. I like that. Uh, this person has got... Carnage, cool. Uh, I think Carnage is cool, but he's not my favorite, but he's cool. Uh, this was pretty fun, Spider-Gwen Smash. Looking for a really fun Spider-Gwen story where you get to see more of her friends and stuff. This was fun, Melissa Flores. Good stuff. Does this have... That's interesting. It has one for four, but it does not have the uh, giant-sized Spider-Gwen because like, the story wraps up in that, so... That's interesting. <laughs> uh, I've, I've heard this is pretty cool. Looks cool. The art style was fun. Cody Ziegler, once again, from... Uh, Miles and uh, now Deadpool. Why did I say Deadpool? We'd like that. Spider Punk. First comic appearance, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but I think he is. I'm not sure, but uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Maybe I'm wrong, and maybe I'm stupid, perhaps. Uh, here's some Darth Vader by Greg Pak. Awesome. Haven't read any of that, but um, here's this Star Wars stuff that I've also not read. I've heard this is kind of cool. Uh, Beware of the Planet of the Apes. Planet of the Apes comic. That's pretty cool, right? Uh, no, I've heard this is really good too, by Brian Hill, the same person that does uh, Ultimate Black Panther. And uh, I'd love to read both of these. This is sadly only a series that went on for 10 issues, but um, this is coming out the second volume. The first volume is already out. I've heard this was not very good, <laughs> but it kind of piqued my interest a little bit. It's like other people as Sentry or something. I don't know, but kind of cool. Um, oh, that's interesting. Chris Claremont actually wrote some stuff for this. Was this actually stuff that he wrote, or is this just, like an additional stuff that like came from? I don't know. I guess it is something that he wrote. Um, yeah, I don't really know anything about the new X Men stuff, but if you like that stuff, then there you go. <laughs> Have fun. Uh, I got some cable stuff. I think this is a new cable. Uh, John Romita Jr. cover. That's kind of cool. Um, Magneto Resurrection by Ali Wing. Uh, Heard it was fine. Uh, I've heard this is really good. The Saber 24 stuff with uh, Wolverine. That's cool. Got that there collected. Uh, I've got some more X-Men stuff. Once again, absolutely zero idea what's happening. This is some new Wolverine stuff. They have an epic collection, which is like these like really great collections of um, comics. It's a really great way to read, read, a, read a, a solid chunk of like a, a character's story. Um, 
Like the Craven's Last Hunt one is fantastic. It's the only one that I've ever read. But they have a new modern era stuff too that they they don't just collect old classic comics. They also collect modern stuff too. This is the uh, the Dun or the the Bun. Sorry, Cohen Bun, not Dun. <laughs> He's not done yet. Um, Venom, which looks kind of cool. And they've got this classic Venom here. That's also cool. <laughs> uh, more more epic collection stuff here. We've got uh, Daredevil. Um, what is this? Is this uh, what was this? Something about Electro. Yeah, Electro Root of Evil. Yes, this is the Root of Evil stuff. Um, Generation X. Don't really know what that is, but that sounds cool. <laughs> Cover is kind of interesting. Uh, I got some classic Deadpool stuff here. Christopher Priest Daredevil stuff. Or what did I say? Daredevil. Uh, Deadpool. Uh, I think that's from the 90s, I believe. I'm not certain, but I've heard of Christopher Priest before, but pretty cool. Uh, Namor the Submariner. This is pretty old. Uh, I don't know where this is from, but Roy Thomas, Jerry Conway. Very cool. And Alan Brodsky. Uh, I've got some Peter David stuff here. That's cool. And Jim Starwin, the writer of uh, Infinity Gauntlet, Infinity War, Infinity Watch. You're all like a freaking... He stuck with that series for a long time. He did like a million freaking Infinity stuff. And it was all Jim Starwin. Made a crazy man. I think he also did Death of the Family. I think... I know he... I'm pretty sure he did that. Um, yeah, I've heard that the the uh, Peter David Hulk stuff is amazing. I'd love to read it one day. Uh, I got some Star Wars stuff. This is classic Legends stuff, which is really cool to have this in collections. Uh, here's some alien stuff, some classic alien stuff. Pretty awesome. Uh, we've got some Ag Agatha stuff and Darkhold stuff. I don't know. That's cool. <laughs> don't know anything about it. It's written by Stan Lee, apparently. That's interesting. Uh, and Gary Conway as well. That's cool. Uh, I think we're reaching towards the end. Uh, Spider-Gwen in the Unknown. I don't actually know what this is, but... It's it's unknown, I guess. That's why I don't know. And here we have some classic four as well, written by Stanley and penciled by Jack Kirby. Awesome stuff. Uh, these Marty Marvel masterworks are kind of like they're kind of like light versions of the Epic Collection. The Epic Collection has like a lot of stuff, but these ones kind of like are still a good way to read some classic comics. I have a few of these. I have some Spider-Man stuff like this. I have uh, I have Spider-Man No More, and I have to oh, just be my destiny <laughs> as well in that, which is cool. Um, there's another advertisement for X-Men. Here's some posters you can get. You got some Deadpool stuff. I think this is from this. Oh, this is a facsimile. Actually, that's that's um, Joe Kiwi, Joe Joe Kiwi, Joe Kelly stuff, I believe. Um, got this. Yeah, the Wolverine and X or Deadpool and Wolverine uh, event thing. Uh, Rain Spider-Man Rain Two, uh, X-Force, and then of course X-Men. And then here's just like all the different stuff that's coming out in one. I guess this is actually where they have when stuff is coming out. So you can sort of like look through that just a little bit. Um, freaking freaky cat thing. <laughs> they, have, they have Annihilation and Blood Hunt in the same day. That's insane. That's, that's, wait. Oh no, that's, that's, okay, that's not, never mind. <laughs> yeah, so this is when, when this stuff is coming out. Um, if you want to like see that. Once again, I'd, I'd recommend just looking at the, uh, websites. I can actually link it in the description too. I don't know why this is broken up like that. What is FOC? I don't know, but anyways, so yeah, here's all this stuff. Um, pretty cool. I'm not sure if they have it all out to this far on the website, but they have it, they have it pretty far on the website. It's cool. Um, so you can pause it if you want to as well. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure why some of these are highlighted as well. Is that like recommendations or what does that mean? I don't know. We got some collections here too. This is when all the different collections are coming out. Anyways, that is it. Thank you for watching. This was probably really long, but it was fun. I'll see you all soon.